Revenge films. I married my husband eight years ago. We had two daughters. They were seven and six. One day, my husband said he'd watch the kids, so I went out to lunch with a friend. Long time no see. Yeah, I know. But these days, my husband volunteers to look after the kids, so it's nice. That's sweet of him. Yeah, but he wasn't like this before. He never looked after the kids before, so I always had to do everything myself. <laughs> but he changed. These days, I could go out again. My friend and I were having a lot of fun catching up. But then, she looked behind me and went silent. Look. She took out a mirror from her bag and handed it to me. It was my husband and the kids. And they were with some woman I'd never seen before. You know her? Nope. Then the chubby woman started talking. Ollie, you can eat anything you want. Yeah? Yeah. Mom's not here, so eat up. Yeah, go on. It's okay being a little chubby. Your mom is mean. Yeah, I hate her. My first daughter, Ollie, was kind of fat. She was our first child, and we all spoiled her, so she was always eating. The other day, we got a warning from her teacher, so she was on a diet. But my second daughter, Kathy, seemed upset. I tried to get up, but my friend stopped me. Hold on. You should collect more evidence first. So I took out my phone and started recording. I'm hungry. You're all skinny. You probably won't be able to finish it anyways. No food for you. But hey, if you call me mom, I'll give you some food. But... Ugh, fine. Whatever. Shut up. Drink some water or something. Then she handed her four cups of water. Water? Yeah, water is good for you. Mom told me the other day when she caught me trying to eat snacks in bed. Your mom is terrible. She should let you eat whatever you want. What was she saying? I mean, she was pretty fat, but still. They had no idea I was recording all of this. Then... Hey, leave her and marry me. We'll take Ollie with us. Then... Really? Yes! I can't wait for you to be my real mommy. Okay, I'll take Ollie then. We'll just say my wife was abusing her or something. Hey, maybe we can get some money out of this too. I couldn't take it anymore. I kept recording, but I ran over to their table. What? What the? What are you doing here? I told you. I was eating lunch with a friend. Who's this? My wife. Oh, I see. I just wanted to strangle her, but I kept a cool head since my kids were watching. We'll talk later. Come on, Allie, Kathy, let's go. No, I want to stay. I'm not going, said Ollie. I knew we spoiled her, but... Her words really upset me. But then Kathy said, I want to go home. Can you make me some curry and potato salad, Mom? I grabbed her hand, stood up, and smiled at the both of them. Have fun. My friend told me to call her if I needed any help. Kathy was trying to act all cheerful, but I could tell that she was upset too. After we ate dinner, we waited for them to come home, but they never did. As I was putting her to bed, she said to me, Are you getting a divorce, Mommy? Why do you say that? I don't want to live with that lady. And Dad and Ollie, they're so mean to me when she's around. So this was what he was up to all along. 
I felt so sorry for Kathy. I acted fast. I got all the family together to talk about the divorce. That fat woman was there too. And my parents-in-laws were glaring at me, probably because my husband told them that I was abusing my daughter. Then my husband started lying, saying that he had just met her at the restaurant on that day. The fat woman followed his lead. My mom was watching my daughters in the other room, so they probably thought they could lie their way out of this. What were you doing anyways, leaving your kids like this? The fat woman tried to close in on me, so I took out my phone and played the recording. Everyone froze up. Care to explain? Said my father. Then, Ollie walked in. I don't want to live with you anymore. I like my new mom. The truth was out. Everyone realized what was really going on. I made him sign the divorce papers on the spot. I took Kathy and moved in with my parents. Twelve years later, Kathy was now in college. I was happy that she was all grown up now, but I was still worried about Ollie. Then, one day, I got a call from Kathy who was out on a date. I think I just saw Dad and Ollie. You should come. I rushed over to the restaurant. When I got there, a fat man and a fat woman was yelling at Kathy and her boyfriend. It was my ex-husband and Ollie. How come you get to date guys like him? That doesn't make sense. Why are you all pretty and stuff? This is bullshit. She tried to attack Kathy, but her boyfriend protected her. When I walked over, she looked at me. Then she started crying. A few minutes later, my husband started explaining. My wife died of high blood pressure a few years ago. And so did her parents. And my parents won't talk to me anymore after the divorce, so... And I have diabetes, so I can barely work, and... Allie, she got bullied at school and lost her mind. Oh, sorry to hear that, bud. What's that got to do with me? Oh, don't say that! Will you marry me again? Please take care of us. We're sorry. Please? Sorry, but no. You're dead to me. What? I'm your daughter! They were so selfish. I snapped. Oh, so now you're my daughter. How convenient. I remember what you said to me. Figure it out yourselves. While I was battling it out with them, Kathy's boyfriend called the cops for us. The cops took them away for questioning. Glad that's over with. She may be my daughter, but after what she said to me? I don't think so. She became a stranger to me the moment she decided to leave me for that woman. How was today's video? If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Stay tuned for more.